Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for MassiveSynth.com. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots, that's T-U-T-S. So today's video is going to be focusing on the internal envelope inside of Massive. It is something that will appear on a couple different screens inside the synth. It's visible on the oscillator tab, and it is visible on any LFO tab. So what it is, is it's basically a modulator for whatever tab you're on. So you can modulate the uh, rate or the depth of your vibrato inside your oscillator tab. You can even modulate your glide with it as well. And when you do modulate a destination with it, it'll say AD for attack and decay. So it's just a really simple envelope, essentially. And its main purpose is to allow you to have some control and introduce some time-based elements to your LFOs or your vibrato. So I, I'm showing you an instance where I have the internal envelope controlling my vibrato. So this pink track right here is what we're going to be checking out and focusing on in this tutorial. So as you can hear, if I just hit a note right now, and it's a staccato, short, plucky kind of note, you don't hear any vibrato. The vibrato only becomes audible when I hold out the note. Well, that's because we have this internal envelope controlling the depth of my vibrato. So as you can see with this modulator here, this blue part, that it it's correlating to the attack. So you see there's all this attack time. So when you do the short, quick notes, you're not going to hear it. And as you hold it out, this slanting attack right here is correlated to how much depth of the vibrato you're actually hearing. Now this is really helpful for a type of lead where you may want the vibrato to come in on the longer notes. So I purposely played a pass where I play short and long notes. So you can see on these longer notes right here that you'll hear more vibrato and on these short ones you won't. And this end part, listen to this end part, you won't hear much at all. So that was the purpose of this. Now it's really cool to do with LFO. So anyone who's out there who's doing like uh, dubstep, uh, Nero House, anything where you have modulated kind of wobbly things, wobbly sounds, it's a really cool thing to do because you can control different, you can use two different LFOs for instance and one will come in at a different rate so it's almost like having two different sounds technically. You could use one, you could use one to control an oscillator to bring in a third sound. I mean there's a lot you can do with these and it's a really simple control. So I want to show you before we end this video what this progression that I showed you sounds like without that modulator. So here is that lead without the vibrato coming in part way through. as opposed to So it's not the most noticeable effect, but it's it, I, I think it falls into that category of things that make the performance aspect of playing inside of Massive a little bit better and stronger. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there, tons of cool new content. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.